And the markets all finished a little lower today. The Dow finished down more than 50 points to close at 18,169. The Nasdaq was down 26 points to finish at 52.83. And the S&P 500 was down 8 points to end at 21.43. Market analysis tonight. Jim Lowell is Chief Investment Officer at Advisor Investments and Editor of FidelityInvestor.com. Hi, Jim. Hey, Mike. So we did edge down today a little bit. What happened, Jim? Look, I think this is a market that has investors basically uh, looking for the sidelines, especially given that uh, we know the election is just two weeks out from this standpoint. So I think there's a little bit of nervousness. We actually saw that play itself out, I think, in a consumer confidence report that we got today, which dipped uh, a little bit more than expected, not because any new negative news in the jobs market might have derailed that confidence, but I think probably the cloud of the election, the uncertainty it casts, cast a pall over confidence itself. All right, you also heard about housing prices today. What did you see there? They continue to go up. Uh, and as they do so, they continue to price a lot of otherwise uh, potential home buyers out of the marketplace. So we have yet to see that uh, trend break, namely higher prices, uh, really, really making it uh, unaffordable for many potential home buyers to come into this marketplace. If we begin to see housing prices recorrect, uh, we really could have a second wind in this housing market. If we don't, and if we begin to enter a rate hike cycle, which we may start in December when the Fed is most likely to raise rates again, then uh, I think this is a housing market that's in jeopardy of its own success. All right, we are in the midst of earnings season. We got earnings from Whirlpool early in the day. Um, what did you see at Whirlpool? Uh, Whirlpool's struggling. They're struggling with uh, weaker-than-expected sales here in the U.S. and also uh, weak sales in Europe. Uh, they directly called out Brexit as a potential issue for, for weak sales there. So that company actually had its worst day in its publicly traded history of 44 years today, down about 11%. Goodness. All right. Apple reported after the close today. How did Apple do this quarter? Uh, third consecutive uh, decline in, in revenue and profits. Uh, that said, uh, Apple remains the most profitable U.S. company by a long shot. Uh, they also upgraded their guidance for the fourth quarter. Part of that, I think, comes from the fact that the iPhone 7 didn't launch until the last week of the third quarter, so that sales numbers aren't reflected in their in their report today. And I think they also are fully aware that the fourth quarter sees a lot of holiday spending on the kinds of products that Apple produces. We'll see how they do in that fourth quarter. Also heard from Chipotle today, and they continue to struggle. They do continue to struggle. They're struggling a little bit less every quarter. Still, their profits were down 95% for the quarter. Uh, it was a year ago, uh, 2015, when they really got into some health-related issues that scared some of their consumers away. They have yet to turn the tide. And what are we looking for tomorrow, Jim? Tomorrow's going to be a light day. We get new home sales. I would say chief among the reports that we get. That will be the one to really key off of their, the most expensive item that people purchase. And if we see gains there, I think that uh, that will bode well for the overall tell that the U.S. consumer is in reasonably good shape. We'll see about that tell tomorrow. Jim Lowell of Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. Jim, thanks for coming in. Thanks, Mike.